Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we will be doing a really fun lab that I promise if you guys want to redo it whenever we do come back to school so that you can do it in person, we can do that. But today we are going to be doing the digestive system lab, which is where I walk you through the entire process of digestion using food and other household materials. And you're going to end up with a final product of fake edible poop. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, okay. So the first thing we're going to be starting with is our mouth because we know that all digestion takes place first in our mouth. And we're going to be using a fork and a knife to represent our incisor teeth and our molars our incisors are responsible for breaking food up into bite-sized pieces and our molars are responsible for grinding that food up into tiny smaller particles so what food are we going to be working with today we have a graham cracker and we're also going to be using a banana so just imagine this is like your breakfast today we have a graham cracker and a banana so first incisors come in and break up food into bite-sized pieces. Okay, and we put all of that into our mouth over here, which is just our plastic bowl. And it also breaks up our graham cracker into bite-sized pieces. You could also use your hands for this. I'm just using a knife and fork so that you can see the representation between the different types of teeth. Okay, and we're gonna put all of that into our mouth also. Let's bring our mouth back into view here. Now we're gonna use our molars and we're gonna crush all of that up. So we really wanna grind it up into smaller pieces. Your molars are those teeth located at the back of your mouth, which do the most of the mechanical digestion. Okay, remember this process of just chewing and breaking up the food into smaller pieces is known as mechanical digestion. Now to save time so that we're not here all day, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my hands and do this part because it is much faster that way if you just use your hands and get in there and break the food up into tiny pieces. And then once you've gotten it kind of broken up, you can probably go back in with the fork and continue mashing it up really good. And this is just that process of mechanical digestion, the chewing of the food. Now, you'll know that in your mouth, something else starts to happen other than just chewing food. Because if we were just chewing food in our mouth, it would be really dry. So we have to have something to help us with that process. And that is where our saliva comes in. So for our saliva, I just have a little bit of regular water. I'm not going to add a lot in here because, you know, we don't have that much saliva happening in our mouth at one time. So this is where the first part of chemical digestion starts to take place. And there's something else that we add in here that aids in chemical digestion in the mouth. And for our chocolate sauce here, this is going to represent an enzyme. We're going to be talking about three different enzymes today. And this chocolate sauce is going to represent the enzyme known as amylase. Amylase is responsible for breaking carbohydrates into glucose. So we're gonna mix that in here. Looks really disgusting, right? This is basically what you imagine food looks like when you've been chewing it up inside of your mouth, okay? So we've mixed our amylase and our saliva in. And so this really kicks off the start of that chemical digestion process. 
Now I'm going to slide all of this stuff out of the way because we're done with that. Okay, so we've ended up with this. Now this was what we would call a bolus. And a bolus is the part that we would swallow and it travels down our pharynx and down our esophagus. Now once it goes down our pharynx and down our esophagus, it ends up in the stomach. So here I have a large plastic bag and this is going to represent our stomach. Okay, this is gonna represent our stomach. So our food's gonna travel into our stomach. Now in our stomach, we have a few other things we're going to add. The first one is going to be our gastric juices or stomach acid. So here I have just some soda because it's acidic. So this represents the stomach acid. And I also have some honey. This honey is going to represent our next enzyme, which is protease. Protease starts with a P, so it should be easy for you to remember that protease is what helps to break down our proteins into amino acids that our body can actually use. So remember, amylase in the mouth represented, or I'm sorry, chocolate sauce represented amylase in the mouth, which helps to break down carbohydrates. Honey in the stomach represents protease, which is going to help break down those proteins. Now we're going to seal this up. And we need to represent the churning motion that our stomach would normally go through to help chemically digest that food even further. So we're just going to take this bag, we're going to use our hands, and we're going to try to mix it up as best as we can. Really mash it up. This is where all of that food becomes a liquid product, okay? So here we have our stomach completely digested. Next, the ingredients from our stomach need to travel to our small intestine. So here on your paper, it says a coffee filter because when we do this in individual groups, um, last year we used coffee filters for this process, but I actually think it works better with a pantyhose. So I'm gonna make a change that next year we do it with pantyhose. So on your um, lab sheet where it says coffee filter, change that to pantyhose. The pantyhose is going to represent your small intestine. And this is where the majority of nutrient absorption takes place. So we're going to be pouring all of those ingredients from the stomach into our small intestine and letting the nutrients end up in this bowl. Okay, I've actually determined that I think the easiest way to do this is to put the pantyhose over a cup and then we're going to pour in the ingredients from our stomach. So remember that the pantyhose in this case is going to represent that small intestine. And the small intestine is where a majority of that nutrient absorption takes place. And then our last enzyme also comes into place in our small intestine. And that's going to be strawberry sauce for your lab um, paper. And this represents lipase. And lipase is what helps to break down fats. So we're going to throw that in there because that also takes place in the small intestine. Now we're going to very carefully pick all of this up. And as you can see, our nutrients are being absorbed through the pantyhose into this cup. I'm actually gonna come in with the bowl now just so I can have more room and you can see better. Okay, so we're gonna give this a good squeeze and really get out all those nutrients. Okay, after most of the nutrients have been reabsorbed into the body after it leaves the small intestine, our product is going to end up in the large intestine. So these paper towels here are gonna represent the large intestine. And what takes place in the large intestine is that 
reabsorption of water. So we're going to take our product and we're going to twist it up nice and tight inside of these paper towels. And as you can see, the paper towels have absorbed a really large portion of that excess water. So this paper towel or washcloth represents your large intestine. Now we're going to empty these final products into our rectum. Okay, so here we have a plastic baggie with all of our waste products. So this is everything left over after the nutrients have been reabsorbed by the small intestine and the excess water has been reabsorbed by the large intestine. And this is our final waste product in our rectum. So the last step was we created an opening of our rectum, which is where we cut a hole in the plastic baggie, which creates the anus. And then you're able to let out your poop product. So that is it. That is how you make fake edible poop. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed watching this and hopefully you're able to learn something where you can put together all of these different steps that we did today and really see the visual process of digestion. Um, go back and rewatch this video, pause where you need to, to be able to create your lab notes or your lab, answer the lab questions. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys.